so hey everyone this is sachin sachin vc welcome back to my channel uh, such film uh, i know it's been a while but i'm very excited to be back with some good bim contents so in this video uh, i will show you how quickly we can create the schedule or boq in revert by using the dynamo so before moving to the dynamo i will show you the preview how it is working for a pipe category so i'm just clicking on the edit input in my dynamo player so for this script we have three inputs so first one is boq number it stands for the schedule view name only next is choose schedule template that means actually we are predefining the desired output so here you can see i have created one schedule so this is a template actually so this is how my boq look like okay so next and third input is select the piper so which old piper that we need to show in that particular schedule that you can select it here so i will show you once so i am starting with uh, i mean schedule number as 01 and select pipe work so click on the select and drag and select i have selected the three pipe work and just click on the run script so in my project browser you can see like first schedule is created for the first selected three pipes so next is I'm changing the number into to select the pipe work. I'm just drag and select wall nine pipe work and just run the script. So in my project browser, you can see the BOQ2 is created. Double click on it. So you can see the nine pipe work. So again, back to 3D view and change the number into three. Select the pipe work. Just drag and select run. So BOQ3 is created. So you can see I'm just selecting the items and go to the 3D view. You can see these are the pipe work in the schedule. So that means like by just entering the number and selecting the pipe work, we can create the schedule. So how it is? Cool, right? So I will open my Dynamo and I will show you one by one how we can set these all things. And so let's start cooking, guys. So the whole procedure divided into eight steps. In that one, the first one is creating the schedule template. So schedule template in sense, we are just predefining that uh, BOQ. Okay, so this is how my BOQ look like. So I need size, count, length, family type, BOQ number as a columns. So I just create the template. So from next step onwards, we are starting the Dynamo. So go to the Manage tab, click on the Dynamo icon. So after opening the Dynamo, just click on the New so this is how the dynamo interface look like so in that turn the first step is adding the name as input so you may remember like uh, in dynamo where we added 0102 as a number right so that is the first input so the name is a string value i mean text value so i am right clicking and enter the string i got the string as a node just click here so this is the first node we are using it's an input so right click put it as age input and just double click on the string so you can rename that uh, node name into b o q number so it will show as per the name in the dynamo player so after that so the number we are inputting like 0 1 so for the 0 1 i need a prefix of b o q so again i am putting like right click string I'm putting like BOQ hyphen. Okay, so I'm changing the automatic to manual mode. And for adding these two strings, I'm using the addition node. So right click and enter the plus icon. I'm adding the prefix our BOQ as a X and BOQ number as Y. So if you put 01 as input means click on the run so that you can see the result as BOQ hyphen 01. Okay, so this is the addition node. So first step is completed and moving to the next step is creating the schedule. So for creating the schedule, like we have that uh, node of create schedule. So just search for create space schedule. So this is a node we are using. Just click here. So I'm just moving and placing here. So for this node, we have three inputs. First one is category. So which category schedule you are creating the name is the name of the schedule and the schedule type 
so if you place the cursor over each input you can see the storage type so category is a category storage type so just right click and search for category so second one so i am choosing it says pipe because it's a pipe schedule so scroll down and choose the pipe and connect category to category node and name is this one only the name of the schedule so i'm connecting very output of the addition node to input of schedule node so schedule type so just search for that thing also schedule type so just click on the arrow and use it as a regular schedule just connect to output of the schedule type and to input of create node so i'm just run the script so run so that you can see in the project process the schedule is created so i'm just, just double clicking and you can see like it's a empty schedule only so i'm moving to the next step of adding the fields so for adding the field uh, we have the node of add fields just click here so if you see the inputs means first input is schedule view so that means we can connect this schedule view into this one and field so schedulable fields so this is coming from schedulable fields only so i need the schedulable fields node schedulable fields here yeah. so i'm connecting this side schedule view to schedule view and just run so that you can see we are having 74 fields here so that means which all parameter available for this particular category will listed here so from this list we need to take that desired uh, parameters or fields so that is the reason why i created the template schedule i mean with the name of boq schedule template so here i am showing like i need size count length family type and boq number so for comparing the two schedule first i need to take the data from river to dynamo so i'm just searching for the view because a schedule is a view only so search for the view and pick the schedule name uh, boq schedule type is the schedule name and next is extracting the fields from that schedule so for extracting we have the node of field fields yeah fields so connect view with the schedule view just run so that you can see the fields which we used for that template schedule is listed here so i'm going to compare these two list and taking that parameter from the schedulable list for comparing i'm using that list index and list get index node okay so for the done i need the object converted into string so i have the node of object to string object to string i'm using this node and i'm converting the object into a string just run so that the objects are converted into a string format or string storage type and afterwards right click list dot index of so i am connecting the main list string into list and this one into element so run so that you can see we received a zero as 32 so zero means size size is coming as a 38 parameter right so this, that is how it is working so next is list dot get index so connecting this main list to this list and index means this values index run so that we extracted all the required parameter from the schedulable fields so that we can connect this item to this one and run so if you go to the schedule mean you can see in the boq1 schedule all the fields are added so the third step is completed and we are moving to the fourth one applying the filter equation so just search for uh, schedule filter okay so this is a node we are using schedule filter by field type and value so this is similar to what we are doing the repeat so we are equating or 
you are equating with the parameter like common d is equal to this one mark value is equal to something so same the way so field in the sense parameter only so this is something we need to extract from the schedule fields so schedule fields so yeah so connecting to this to this one keeping here run so that in the scheduler fields we have four parameters so i need boq number so from this list i need that index number four parameter okay so i'm using the this list index of and list get index node so before that i need to convert to object to to string i'm converting object to string and first node is list dot index of this one so list index of so i'm connecting this list with this one so element name is buki number right so i'm using the string input so i'm keeping the name as it is boq space number connecting boq sorry connected to this to this one run so that you can see we got the index number four so we are on the right track so next is list dot get index so i'm using the main list index to here run so i'm taking that boq number from the schedule fields and connecting the item to this one okay so the filter type so filter type in the sense filter type so we have the node so click on here so i'm just placing the cursor over it you can see it's a string so i'm using the equal so this parameter is equal to the value value in the sense this one only this is what we are assigning so taking from variable output to this node value run so the filter equation is created as boq number is equal to the string input Okay, so next we need to add this filter into schedule so you can use the add filter node and we have the two inputs like schedule view so where is the schedule view yeah this one is the schedule view i'm connecting this to this one and schedule filter so this is a filter just run so for the boq one click on the filter okay so you can see it is working so we are on the right track so we completed that uh, a fourth step next is the select the pipe work as input so you may remember in the dynamo player the last input was selecting the pipe work for that one we can use the node of select select model elements as the node place it here double click on the name change that into so select the pipes that's it accept so same the way it will show in the dynamo player and after that why we are creating the schedule means like in the schedule in the filter we added the equation of boq number is equal to that string input right so same the way we need to assign this same value into the pipe work though then only it will be visible in the schedule right so i'm using the node of uh, set element dot set parameter that is a node so the three inputs we are having elements parameter name value element is in this one only parameter name means this is a parameter boq number i'm connecting this to this one next is the value so value in the sense this one boq 01 so for that one this is a variable it's object i'm converting into string so right click object to string enter connecting variable into object string to here so we assign that to value also so we are going to check whether it is working fine or not just click on the run uh, so back to the schedule so that you can see the empty schedule is changed into a few piper it's purely based upon our selection right so the script is working fine so we'll try with the dynamo player so before that i just want to verify this one is is input it's fine 
this one also is input only is input and this one also i'm keeping as its input and i'm just saving here so we'll open the dynamo player and we'll verify everything is working fine or not so go to the manage tab double click on the dynamo player okay so this is a schedule we created right now so click on the edit inputs so we receive the same input like boq number i'm putting like 02 select the pipe work i'm just selecting and this three pipe work and run the script so you can see the boq2 is created double click so you can see the three pipe work so i will highlight here so same pipe work so changing the number into five uh, select i'm selecting the these three uh, run so boq5 is created so i will show you one good advantage by using the template so if i am adding one more parameter uh, suppose bottom elevation i'm adding click ok and afterwards if i'm changing that into boq7 select the pipe work so i'm selecting these three run the script to mean so in that boq7 you can see the bottom elevation as well so in the live project itself you can update the template and from that one onwards you can see the changes in the upcoming schedules so it's a great advantage i believe okay so that's it guys so i hope you enjoy this video so just work out and if you have any doubt also please ping me in the comment section and yeah that's it guys and bye